No, it was interesting uh, to me. A marketer said recently, you know, the world seems like it's come down to three big levers. There's Google, there's Facebook, and there's all of TV. And the mix is where the wins and losses are. And I, I just wanted to ask you, do you agree with that? And by the way, is there a fourth called Amazon? Uh, if you were in an elevator with a marketing exec and had some time to, you know, spend some time in the lobby and, and respond to that question, how would you answer that? Is it three? Is the, is the, are the wins in the mix? Is there a fourth? Is there Amazon? Is that as simple as our world has gotten? And how do you win in there? This is a very important question uh, for all of us in the industry to be thinking about. And the short answer is no, I disagree with the statement that there are only three levers levers at play. Um, and no, it's not as simple as four, should we consider Amazon to be part of that. Um, we need to recognize that Google, Facebook, Amazon, those are platforms. They're also wall gardens, okay? And um, what television has historically been, up until maybe eight years ago, television in and of itself was a very clean and tidy, well-lit marketplace. And it was very clear and easy to understand this television universe. And um, what's happened is uh, with the rise of streaming, which particularly through the pandemic, we're seeing streaming begin to rival and sometimes exceed linear viewership. And, um, and that has created a massive amount of fragmentation for the television universe. So first of all, when you're thinking about the levers, television in and of itself is, is no longer a cohesive entity. And there's a huge amount of television quality viewership with a huge amount of valuable audience, with a huge amount of attention that is under mon monetized. And someone who's thinking that there's only three or four levers here, that is suggesting that their media mix modeling isn't where it could be. And, and actually, I think that there's a really significant opportunity for the industry to to empower media mix modelers to leverage next generation television data and to combine that with a, the best understanding we can get of the digital television universe so that we can begin to think of television as a platform. And, and this is what we as an industry need to do is we need to first solve for TV's fragmentation issue um, by thinking of TV as a platform. And then we can have the television universe compete with the search universe, compete with the browser-based display universe, compete with you know, the native digital universe and so forth. And, and that's really where we need to go as a marketplace. Um, so I think it's a, a different lens that we're looking through. I think that's a great observation. I think that you know we've evolved, evolved to a place where it isn't levers and it isn't three levers. It's really understanding we've given consumers exactly what they wanted with all these options at an arm's length, moment's notice. They've taken us up on it. They sought out their content you know, everywhere on a, you know, to your point, on a well-lit platform uh, that's got a lot of parts of points of connection to it and you know solving for that and optimizing for that and fully harnessing that has still got enormous opportunities yet untapped so i think that's a great way to think about it Noah. thank you thank you